Okay, I would like to call the Licensing Hearing and Public Safety Committee uh, meeting to order. Um, let's start with a uh, roll call. Um, Alder Dean? Here. Alder Ackley? Here. Alder Salazar, I'm here. Um, great, if we can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Um, and before we can, I think we all know each other, right? Yes. Great. We don't have any guests. Um, okay. Agenda item number five, approval of minutes for the May 10th, 2020, 2023 meeting. Uh, chair is looking for a motion. Motion to approve the minutes from the May 10th, 2023 meeting. Second. Great. I have a motion and second. All those, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right. Agenda item number six, uh, resolution number 1023-24, a resolution establishing a joint municipal court advisory committee to identify qualified candidates for the interim appointment as the Sheboygan Area Municipal Court Judge. Attorney Adams? Can I answer any questions you might have? Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So are we looking at like having some? Who are we looking at having on this committee? Do we have any? any yeah, so, so I don't know uh, who the mayor's going to appoint or who the village is going to appoint, but it, the idea okay. is. Okay, oh, so the village will appoint someone. The village will appoint two and the city will appoint three, and then Judge Tory will also be on there as a non voting ex officio so that her expertise is there too. I, I don't know if this has anything to do with exactly this. Is, um, well, is it already posted? Are we having candidates? I don't know if that's a question for you. It's it's not because you have to go through this process to do that. To do it, got it. So okay. yeah, I think you know, depending on who's out there, and I know I know there's been a little bit of work of trying to identify are there people because they have to live in the city or in the village of Kohler, mm -hmm. so that limits it. There are yeah, more yeah. of Kohler probably than the city, but um, that limits it. Uh, and I think there's been some work in sort of identifying are there people that we think might be interested. Okay. But beyond that. Right. And then the person would, it would be an interim position. They'd still have to run. Okay. Oh, weird question. Yes. Is, uh, what happens if you know, one of the persons that we point to the committee goes, you know, maybe I'd like to do that. Do we have to drop them from the committee and how we, what would it? <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah, I, that would be that would be problematic because basically they would be. I mean, technically they're not the one appointing themselves because it's the city and the village that sure. the person. But that's that's a little bit problematic. I assume that Brian would do some vetting of yeah. that before appointing yeah. people to the committee or to the yeah to the committee. Great. Okay, so we're just looking for a motion of approval, correct? Yes. Great. I move to approve the resolution. Second. Great. We have a motion and second. Any other discussion? Great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Uh, agenda item number seven, uh, general ordinance number uh, 32324, an ordinance adopting, enacting, and republishing the code, the code for the code of ordinance of Sheboygan, Wisconsin providing for the repeal of certain ordinance not including there within therein providing a penalty for the violation thereof providing the manner of amending such code and providing such code and this ordinance shall become effective again i can answer any questions <laughs> I did, did you read the whole thing sure i read every every <laughs> word <laughs> I was like, wow, it's what? not done. <laughs> Why do we have 1,600 pages? <laughs> Maybe a reason it took three years. <laughs> Is this something that has to be done like on a regular? Yeah, day? every so often. Okay. Yeah, so the last time it was done was 1998. The work actually oh. started in 96. Isn't that um, wild? And then before that, it was 75. And before that, it was 65. Okay. Prior to 65, it was about every 10 years. We don't need to do it quite so often anymore. And it'll be interesting to see 
me and I won't be around the next time it has to be done, but I have a feeling it may even take longer just because with everything being online, it's a little more flexible. So we're looking for a motion of approval? Yes. Great. Motion to approve. <laughs> Second. Great. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. All right, agenda item number eight, RO number 22324 by city clerks submitting various license applications. Renew all license applications held at the at the May 10th, 2023 um, licensing hearing public safety meeting. It's review, but yeah. Um, oh, review, sorry. Yeah. So we're recommending granting all the remaining licenses on the RO, um, except two. Uh, 1089, Dave Susan, we're recommending grant with conditions. It's the same conditions that he's had. Uh, mm -hmm. And then JM Cortez LLC, we're recommending that you just hold that one. There's a hearing. There'll be a hearing the next time you meet. Okay. So the for Dave Susan, it's the same conditions that we same put. Same conditions. Well, I don't know. Was that a year ago? A year ago. Well, it was a little over a year ago. And then when he renewed, he had to have those conditions. So. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming the, the committee reviewed that and these will continue for a while. Yeah. Okay. And then the hearing, I think we just approved at the council meeting. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. really, it would have been something other than a non-renewal hearing. It's just a time frame. It needed to be a non-renewal rather than a suspension hearing. Okay. So. Any other discussion? Oh, great. Okay. Um, Chair, will you entertain the motion? <laughs> sure. Uh, I recommend um, uh, granting all the ROs, all the licenses on this RO, except the uh, Dave who's in with, will be with conditions and the, the, the hold of the JN Cortez. Second. Great. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Okay, agenda item number eight, RO number 62324 by city clerk submitting various license applications. So we're also recommending granting all of the licenses on this RO except as follows. Family Dollar of Wisconsin, we're recommending a grant with a warning. Uh, that's because they sold cigarettes to minors during the past year. Fast Fill Inc, granting with a warning, same reason. Uh, SSS Wisconsin LLC, there are actually two applications and they were just simply mislabeled on the RO as uh, class um, uh, class A liquor and they're meant to be class A beer and cider. Uh, so that with that change and then Walmart stores, grant with the warning, they also sold cigarettes to uh, minors. So and I think you'll see one or two more in the next RO like that too. There were five that got caught. Um, any discussion? No. And then I would just note there's a usually I put all the contingencies on, but it's really not. I do that more for your information. It's not necessary. You're going to be granting a lot of licenses on this RO that have contingencies on them, but you can just grant them. It's just that they won't be able to issue them. And contingencies meaning that they miss. They have to do like they they they're eligible for the license, right? So we okay. would grant it, but we're not going to actually issue the license until they pay their taxes or Sorry. they right. pay their various fees. They some of them haven't paid for their amusement devices. Some of them, you know, there, there's a whole. So some of them didn't have the right um, uh, seller's permit provided. You know, there's a lot of those little details that a lot of them have. It's, and those who have contingencies are identified are um, notified. Yes, yeah. The clerk's office deals with all those, okay. and there, there, there really are. They're not contingencies that will prevent them from getting the license. It'll just prevent the clerks from issuing it until Thank until you. they get them, and and the clerk will have no choice anyway, based on the law to hold hold issuance, but but they'll grant them. Okay. So the only way there's trouble is if any of them don't fix it by July 1, then if they don't fix it by July 1, then once their time frame of having to be closed oh, yeah, occurs, yeah. then we come. His license ends on the 30th. Yeah. Okay. But this happens every year. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, let's, any other discussion? Oh, great. Uh, looking for a motion. I move to grant all the licenses according to staff recommendations. Second. Great. We have a motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? What do I say now? Chair votes aye. No, can I? Oh, oh, oh you, you can't. You are uh, abstaining. Chair abstains. Chair abstains. Yep. And then I say, do I need to say majority? Yeah, it passes. Sorry. Ma majority passes. Yeah. Great. Sorry. That's okay. I, I just it's can't yeah. put forms on it. It's good. It's okay. Um, all right, great. Our next meeting will be held on June 7th. Um, so that will be in two weeks. Um, most likely we'll have a hearing for that one, correct? Yeah. So that'll be upstairs? Yes. Okay. And remember that it is two weeks, not three weeks, which would be normal when we hold the hearing. I know. Yeah. Right. Just to remind some of the bills being there or two days after the council. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Motion carries. We are adjourned at 427. <laughs>